Well, well, raga. What's up, guys? How's it going? I hope you're all doing great today. In this video, I'd like to share with you guys some of my tips for how you can speak faster in Italian or in any language because these tips aren't Italian specific. In fact, I actually made this video in Italian a few months ago sharing the same tips for people who want to learn English. So these can be applied to any language. These tips are all really interrelated. There's no fine lines uh, between them. So you're going to find that they all kind of blend into each other at some point, but they are three main tips. So number one, what's tip number one? Repetition. When people tell you practice makes perfect, they're not kidding. It really is the truth. But here's what I mean by practice and repetition. Yes, I'm talking about doing exercises and constantly reviewing topics. But what I really mean, what I'm trying to get at is constantly reusing the same words and phrases over and over again. Because what happens is the more and more that you talk about the same things and use the same words and phrases, the easier it is to call them to memory. So to recall them to memory, I think the phrase is basically, it's easier to constantly use these words and phrases. But notice how I'm saying words and phrases. You don't only want to get in the habit of constantly translating word by word. Like I means this, uh, am means this. A we, like constantly taking word for word and translating. In the short term, it's okay. In the long term, it's not. Try to do phrases, okay? So constantly take these phrases and reuse them over and over again. Your pronunciation will improve with time, your accent will improve with time, and you're gonna feel a bit more fluent because you're gonna be able to belt out phrases really quickly. So concentrate on phrases rather than word for word translations. That way you're never thinking about it. You just know an idea in one language is associated to these sounds in another language. So if I want to say I'm doing great today, I know immediately sto bene. Io mi sento di buon umore. I'm in a great mood today. I don't have to think that much when I say it because I've got that prepared and set. The second tip is when you've got these phrases that you're constantly using over and over again, you have to start changing them up over the course of time. Once you plateau and you get really comfortable with them, you need to change up the level. That means taking a word somewhere in your phrase, eliminating it, finding a new word that you haven't used before, and putting it inside. Here's the example that I gave in the Italian version of this video. When I make videos, I'm always telling people what something means. It's a phrase I use all the time, therefore it's something that I can often use over and over again, right? So there are two phrases in Italian that I can use. Questa significa and questo vuol dire. They both mean this means in Italian. So here's the thing. When I get really comfortable always saying questo vuol dire, questo vuol dire, questo vuol dire, what I can start to do is start saying questa significa, questa significa. What I'm doing is I'm building my vocabulary. I'm learning more than one way of saying the same thing. And it's nice. Sometimes you don't want to always be super repetitive when you're repeating the same phrases, you know? You got to shake it up. So that's my second tip. Take these phrases that you're always using and swap out words for new ones. This will really help to build your vocabulary. Now here's my third and final tip. So now that you've gotten comfortable reusing the same phrases and now including new vocab words to build your vocabulary, you have to talk about a wide range of topics. Even if it's on your own, write about a bunch of different topics. Like talk about medicine one day and going to the doctor. Talk about driving a car and what it's like the next day. Then the next day talk about going to school and school life. Then the next day talk about work. The next day talk about your friends. The next day talk about your family. The idea is you want to concentrate on specific topics. And then those other tips can come back in. You can constantly reuse the same phrases so you get used to using them and you're comfortable and pronunciation's good and you don't have to do word for word translations. And then when you're even more comfortable, start shaking up the phrases, start using new vocab words. And then once you're really comfortable with this, move on to another topic. You know, get out of your comfort zone and take it to the next level. So as you can see, all of these tips really are interrelated. And I really hope that if you guys are able to employ them, that they will work for you and that you find them useful. Even if these tips don't work for you, I hope that they will at least set you on a path 
to figuring out what does work for you. You know what I mean? I know for me, for example, I love hearing the process. I'm, I really enjoy the process of learning a language. I think it's really interesting and a lot of fun and everyone has a different experience. And uh, I also like hearing how other people do it, you know? So I hope, you know, you guys kind of feel the same way and uh, enjoy hearing what I think. Because as always, I speak from my personal experience for from studying Italian and what I found works for me. So get out there, guys. Start belting out these phrases in whatever language it is that you're learning. Always remember to spread the love, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in and checking out this video, and I will catch you guys all next time. Ciao!